Dear friends, in this tutorial we are going to cover a very powerful feature of PyTest framework called fixtures. Okay, what I have here is a sample database class. This is just a fake or a mock class I have created for demonst demonstrating fixtures. Uh, but if you're using any real Python module for let's say Oracle or SQL database, it will have all these basic functionality. It will have your database object, it will have your connection, and then the third thing will be cursor. So cursor will have an ability to execute your database queries. Here I have uh, some put some fixed database queries and returning some fixed values here. So again, this is all fake. Okay, now when I start writing the test here, I want to write two kind of tests. So first test is to verify John's employee ID and the other one is to verify Tom's employee ID. So this database is basically a employee database and all I'm doing is verifying IDs of different employees and I'm writing a unit test for them. So first let's write unit test for John. I will say test John's ID here and in order to create the database object I will call my DB this will give me the database object and in database first if you have some idea on how databases work then you always need to connect to your server database server now I'm just saying server but this will be appropriate connection string okay and once you have your connection you will have a cursor object next so connection dot cursor will give you a cursor object and cursor dot execute will be able to execute your SQL query here I'm going to copy the query from this class select ID from employee DB where name is equal to John this returns me the ID of employee John and let's say this is ID you want to assert that ID is one two three I think so ID here is one two three so I, I just want to assert that similarly you can write another test case for Tom's ID I'm just going to quickly change these things and 789 that's your Tom's ID okay so if you have seen my PY test tutorials uh, before this tutorial then you know this is how you write your test it should be it should have test underscore prefix and the file name should also have test underscore when you run this test using py test minus v command it runs fine it will say the test passed okay now what's the problem with this approach you can see that here there are two main issues one issue is you are repeating all these lines of code here you see so if you have let's say thousand test cases you will be writing these three lines like thousand times okay which is not good second thing is database connection is costly uh, you could be even writing test cases requiring network connection and those things are also costly so it's a costly operation which you are performing on running each and every test so again if you have a thousand test cases it's gonna take some time and waste some resources there has to be a better way of doing this in classic X unit style you will use a setup and tear down concept so what setup and tear down does is it will initialize whatever you need for your test cases in the beginning. So first let, let me use setup and tear down and then I will show you how you can use fixtures instead of setup and tear down because fixture is much better than uh, traditional X unit style setup and tear down. First I'm going to make my connection and cursor object global I'll say these are global and 
write down a setup module method so this is a setup at module level and you are just initializing your connection and uh, cursor object here so you will say global connection and cursor is also global now this test has this cursor available so it can directly use it so you can get rid of all these lines there is also a teardown method so let me write that write that down teardown module now what teardown means is after test cases have finished execution you want to uh, do some cleanup so you will do cursor close first and then connection close okay so i didn't show that those methods earlier but i also have these close methods here which i want to call okay so basically whatever your test cases need you are initializing that in your setup module and then once you are done executing these you will tear down tear down meaning you will close the connection and do necessary cleanup all right let's run this cool so you can see both the tests passed it worked as expected so now this is better you solve the two issues that i mentioned and those issues was repeating the same line of code and calling costly database connection every time now you can do this exact same thing of setting up and tear down using um, py test fixtures so let me show you how to use py text test fixtures so i'm going to first remove this these globals are not needed and import a py test module and then write down my fixture so i'll say py test dot fixture okay and what you need in each of these tests is really the cursor okay so all right let me just make a space here okay so what you need is a cursor so here I can say cursor and then I'm just going to copy this code here okay so you create your database you connect to your database and then you have your cursor and you will just return the cursor here okay now see what happens when you return this when you use this fixture so in order to use this fixture in your test cases uh, let me just remove all of this all you will do is call cursor here so what happens is when cursor is passed here the py test framework will realize that there is a cursor function which is a fixture so it's gonna call this function and return this object here right here okay so that's that's what it's gonna do and just to make it clear uh, this cursor and this curve function is same as this it was not this okay so i just changed the variable name so this guy here is same as here okay let's run this test and see what happens okay clear cool so it works see it passed all those tests okay so this is better because you don't have to create those global variables and also uh, this concept aligns with your dependency injection concept right? if you have done like java programming you might have heard this term dependency injection so what, what i'm doing here is this test has a dependency on cursor and i'm injecting the dependency using this particular fixture all right now when you run this test you have to after you are done executing these 
you have to do connection close as well so for doing connection close what you have to do is you have to use a yield function so first before i do that let me show you uh, by printing that it is doing whatever we expect it to do so i will say setting up here and yeah let me just do this first okay so when you run this test here all right it's not printing the statement because in order to print it you have to supply uh, minus minus capture option and you have to say no no means don't capture the output of s print statement somewhere else but show it on std out so here you can see that it is printing setting up twice so it is setting calling setting up then it is running the test again calling setting up and then running the test meaning it is not doing whatever we expect it is actually creating these database ob object every time you call them here so to restrict that at a module level you can use this scope scope parameter and when you say scope is equal to module it will set up only once so now when you do that you, you can see setting up is just one time okay now this output this is more visible if you don't use minus minus v so you can see it is setting up these two dot means it is running two test and that's it okay now how do you do tear down tear down means where do you close your connection and cursor okay so for that you have to return you you, you just change a return with yield and after this you will say cursor dot close and then connection close so what will happen is it will create this cursor object only once it will pass it to all the test cases execute the test cases after all of that is over it will go here and close the connection and let me show you let me print this closing database okay so let's run this nice so you can see that it set up the things that we needed to run to this this two dot means it ran those two test cases and then it is closing the database okay so that was all about fixtures in py test framework they are pretty powerful uh, they are recommended over using setup and tear down methods because they are much better than setup and tear down so Whenever you write PY test uh, based unit test, please uh, use these fixtures. All right. Thank you for watching.